Hey everybody, it's me, your boy RJ. Today we're testing my alternator because at night I'm starting to get some flicker on my headlights. First thing you need, a nice multimeter. Let's see, I can put one just like this in the link below. I turned it to 20 volts DC. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach right here. I'm gonna lay this in here on the ground. And then we're gonna reach over here. We're gonna go to the power side of the alternator. Here's your alternator. You gotta pull the cable back. Every vehicle's a little different, but this is mine. And then come over here. Oh, I did not get the ground. Can you do me a favor? Mm. Can you hold the ground while you video as well? Yeah. You gotta go over my left side. That's the ground. Left side. Oh, isn't it? No. The battery? Hold that to the, the post. Okay. All right. So we're running a 12.4. You wanna be around 12.6, so it's not far off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the truck up and we should be running like 14.2 to 14.7 range. So we can give that a try real quick, have her go inside and I'll keep video. Very, yeah, very, yeah I know, that. I know, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, come on back after you turn on. There's no way I'm gonna hold this camera and do all that. All right. Come on, our radio and everything off. Yeah. Is without the radio on, AC's not on? No. Okay, ready, hold this. Hold this. Can't break it. You got that one? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see what we got here. We're just above, oh, oh, oh. You gotta hold it, right? Are you holding it? Yeah. Okay, 14.2, just barely above what we need. Okay, we want 14.2 to 14, but I keep dropping. You see that? That's not good. Maybe I'm not holding it well though. Are you holding it solid though? Yeah. Over there real good, not moving? Yeah. So, that's what we want. Right there's a good reading, but then it keeps fluctuating. Alright. Now I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna flip on a bunch of stuff and we're gonna see what happens. I can't do it and hold it in place, unfortunately. Let's here, see what I'll I'm go in and No, I got it, I got it. You hold that in video, ready? I'm gonna see if I can cram this in there. Okay. There we go. Keep it on. Anything different? No, not really. Okay. Is, are your headlights on? Are your headlights on yet? Yeah. Everything's on. Alright. I'm still running about the same, so we want to stay about 13 with everything running. I'm going to hit the AC and see if that makes a difference than the heat. Right now it's the heat. Still running the same. So, go in there. I'm gonna hold this. You flip it off. Then we dropped uh, 13, 5, 4. It should stay at that 12 on its own. It's still spinning, got a little power circulating. Let's see if it stays 12.6-ish this time for a little bit. And there we go, 12.6 where you want to be. So um, it looks like my alternator is not my problem. So my battery is a Super Start from, trying to find the sticker. You see the sticker on that side? Here it is, 422, so it is not that old. So hopefully this battery's not going bad. I'm gonna check my test. Maybe ground somewhere is bad, not tight. Uh, because that one there's working. Unless somehow it's my lights. It didn't start until after the accident. 
I don't think it had, so maybe they didn't connect something back. Let me turn the lights too. They oh, moved yeah. all the front end of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Something may be loose, not connected. They may not put a ground up in there correctly. And it might be affecting all my lights. Uh, so that's not it, but that's how you test an alternator. Real simple, easy to do at home. Got any questions, ask below, I'll try to tell you. I'll put a nice little tester on there that's a, a decent one that'll do it. Like I said, I wanna go Bulls DC to 20, uh, cause you need to be around to handle 12 or 14. You don't need to jump way up here, you just need above 20. These are two below, 200 milliamp. And that, no, so those will be below it, all right? DC, not AC, not ohms, all right? It's working. I'm a little sad. I mean, I'm I'm happy. I don't want to put an alternator on there. Expensive. But I got to figure out what's wrong. Uh, I'm gonna test my battery. It is running a little low. So I'm gonna show you a real quick, easy way to test your battery. I have a video on this intelligent charger I have. So what I like to do is hook this up. You can test your battery with the beater too, but I always use this because it just gives me a good range. See, I'm at 12.6 now. It says 100 because it was running, but when I started, it was at 60. So the battery got charged sitting there, but I'm lose if it's right, I got 60% charge from this sitting when we use it last week. Friday. Friday? Mm-hmm. Where'd we go? Walmart. Walmart. So sat for two days and then it lowered power. Shouldn't happen that quick. Um, so I'm gonna keep testing that, figure it out. But that's a quick easy way to test your alternator. Make sure you put everything back if you pull it apart. Um, Make sure ground. Like I said, go to your power of your alternator. Cover that cap up so that heat power doesn't cause nothing. I'm just rambling now. Because uh, I'm going through my head like what's causing the lights. I think it's my fog lights. They, uh, they're all weird afterwards. They didn't work at all after they changed out my bumper because they didn't fully change everything after the accident and fix all the stuff. So that's probably my problem. If you're doing this because of a problem like that and you had that kind of situation, it might be it. So I'm gonna change out my fog lights next. Um, that's it. Hope the video helped you. Please like, subscribe, it helps during these times. As always, I'm RJ, seize the day each and every day. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, I forgot to tell you. So the 14, if you're under 14 too, or above 14.7 before you turn on all those items, that means you're undercharging if you're under 14 too, and if you're over 14.7, you can be overcharging, which is means your alternator could be getting ready to go, okay? I forgot to add that. I just want to add it on to the end of the video because I told you it, but I didn't tell you why and what reason, what was happening. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.